today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to install the delayed die guard. So they have various versions of it from different companies. This one I'm using right now is from Ice Mountain Cooler. So this is for the X299 platform. You have to take the stock mounting mechanism off your X299 motherboard before you're going naked die. So as long as you do it really easily, really only have to screw the four screws in the back, I think, or actually the front, the T20s. And it includes T20 wrench with it. So you're pretty much good. So basically, I'm just going to have to remove, as we see here, these four here and maybe I might have to take the bracket off the back to see actually no I didn't have to take the bracket off the back it's actually attached to it on here like that so it's quite straightforward I didn't even know if this thing works yet, but chances of getting a dead motherboard pretty slim actually compared to other things to face in life. So let's move on to step two. Yep, you keep the original back plate just like I thought. And next up, I just have to drop the CPU into the base basically. This top right corner is gonna go here. And they have little indentations on here too. So you really can't mess up your CPU installation. At least you shouldn't be able to. As you see, if you want to reference your stock CPU mounting tension mechanism, there it is. I just got to plop CPU in here, and we'll be good to go. Everything's lined up nicely. This pin is it's gentle. Application. Ooh, it slots in there nicely. Okay. Alright. Next up. So you may need to do this. Tilt it. I have to get the proper camera angle real quick notice the stuff on my desk a whole bunch of crap I know I know I know no crap drop the screw so back plate on yeah please oh crap drop another screw we'll start here see shouldn't just gone like that one or two turns maybe Get it going. Before I tighten it up and get alignment on there. Maybe more than that. All right. Make sure my CPU's in there. Yeah, it should all be good. You know what I really need is a magnetic screwdriver, but I'll uh, use whatever I can. I usually just end up losing all my tools because I'm disorganized. <laughs> but it's a problem for another day. This has little scratches from my abuse, but as long as this thing is nickel plate at the bottom, it shouldn't react with liquid metal as far as I know, but time will tell. Water cooler uses some pretty decent nickel plating, so compared to my EK Water Lux at least, they never flaked before, so because I had it in my loop for months and they look the exact same. Could be used because of my new coolant and my rigorous maintenance schedule, but who knows? That looks pretty good like that, alright. 
Let me install this. Ah, good old German engineering. Before we install this, we should put a little cryo nut on the die. All right, where's, oh, my cryo nut's like right next to me. I'm zoning out. One rice grain sized in the middle. Don't want to squeeze too hard, I'm just blowing it all over the socket. <laughs> that should be enough. Just tightens. Feels good. Enough mounting pressure. Be straight. Is there a contact to die? You may want to go look on the side and check it if it's contacting it. Everything looks nice and flush. So we're all good here. So I believe all EK blocks, most standalone CP blocks should fit. As long as the mounting mechanism allows it to go low enough to contact the die, so it should be good. You wouldn't want to blow up your two grand CPU. Well, this is a UCPU, but it still costs me like at least 1200 bucks. It's a pretty good deal on a 7980X Evo. So, I think this works out. Now, onto that kit of RAM. Where is it at? Okay, here's part of my ghetto test setup. Well, it's pretty decent actually. So you got one piece of hard tubing, and hopefully you can find one last piece of soft tubing. So basically now I'm just filling out my test loop for this to see if everything works out. So I get my fill bottle, some distilled water, fill this up. I should be able to fill this in one go. This is the larger one. I had a smaller one before, but you would have to fill it multiple times. It was kind of annoying, so I got this one from Performance PCs. All right. Alright, I seem to figure out the issue, and it was an other kit of RAM, which wasn't working for some reason with some other board. So I checked all the slots out, all the slots are good, CPU seal properly, so everything should work. All 32 gigabytes of RAM were detected, so I'm good to go. Alright, I'm, I'm in the BIOS now. Nothing's really seemed to have changed with this BIOS. So, same layout from Masseuse, basically. 
Put all your extreme tweaker settings, the usual stuff. Drum, tuning, tweaking, nothing crazy. Key fan configuration here. So you got your heat sink fans configuration. Step down, max DD cycle, all your fan control stuff. Well, that's pretty much it for selling the Rampage 6 Omega for my upcoming build. So please like and subscribe if you want. Peace.